at the end of the day, the goal is not for you to just do real estate. Yeah, it's not the vehicle that that you're using to get to that goal. Right. It's plugging in the variables within the formula of mm -hmm. building a hands-off business, getting uninvolved income, and that uninvolved income coming from sources that produce also long-term gains mm -hmm. so that that uninvolved income is not being chipped away at, but it's actually growing mm -hmm. because the asset that it's coming from is growing. What's up, everyone? This is On The Exit Podcast. As you guys know, every week we have a new entrepreneur on the show that we're interviewing, asking questions, getting inspired by. But we also do these shorter episodes where Caleb and myself, uh, we just kind of talk through, sometimes we'll kind of talk through a past episode with a guest, or other times just kind of top of mind stuff, yeah. ideas, thoughts, just things that we're thinking about. I'm Aaron, your co-host. This is Caleb, as you guys know. Yeah. And so, Caleb, what what's on your mind, I guess, this week? And what are you, what are you thinking about? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just again, thank you everyone for jumping on to Own the Exit. This has been such a life-giving journey for me personally. I know Aaron, you as well. We've talked about it. Just yeah. being able to connect with so many of you, you know, interviewing the different entrepreneurs that we've got the chance to talk to. And we literally have some really cool people that are lining up to be on the show, which we're really excited about. And yeah, love hearing from all of the folks in this growing community. It's amazing how you know, how people are being impacted. One of the reasons we end up doing things in life that other people aren't able to do uh -huh. is because we're willing to do the things that other people aren't willing to do. Right. Right. Do the things yeah. that are hard and you mm -hmm. can do the things that are cool. <laughs> well, and I <laughs> think that it, it, like, yeah, and it's like a lot of people are like, well, I wish I had this guy or this guy's lucky or this guy, his mm -hmm. dad gave him the money or this guy, this or that, or he got a promotion or whatever. And it's like, no, it's like he no. did things that yeah. you didn't want to do. Exactly. And I, I'm a big believer in like you, you actually, the life you're living is the life you created. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I know there's things that happen, you know, it, I get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but at the yeah. same time, it's like we we get to dictate kind of the life and create the life. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hijack what you're. No, saying, I love it. I love me. You just had that thought. Super good value, and it's like, no, I can't remember. It's one of those books. I've read so many books on business and entrepreneurship in my life. I don't always remember where I got the <laughs> yeah. little nuggets from. I don't know if you have exactly. that from. On it. But it's some book that I read years ago, it had this statement, eat the frog. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, doing the difficult things. Yeah, first. so it's like, do the, eat the wake up every morning and eat the frog. Like, that's going to be the hardest thing you're ever going to do. And so I actually started trying to implement this. I follow a guy on uh, social media who is big into, like, doing the ice cold plunges, like the Wim right. Hof stuff, the ice cold plunges, the cold uh -huh. showers, all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, most people in their life will never take a 30 second ice cold shower. <laughs> it's just too uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. You can even send them the research. <laughs> that's awesome. After my run. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but most people yeah. in their life, if they have access to warm running uh -huh. water, they're going to wait for the shower to warm up before they totally. get in. Right. They're not going to do 30 seconds or a minute or three minutes. They're going to jump. Yeah. They're not going to literally go to the store, buy, you know, a hundred pounds of ice to fill their bathtub so that they can lay in it for thir for three minutes and then Mis like miserable, uncomfortable. Yeah. But the benefit of doing that hard mm -hmm. thing is mm -hmm. like astronomical. You know, the guy that I followed talked about how your liver has the capacity to on demand release an unlimited supply of cold shock proteins, mm -hmm. which are literally proteins that are that, that your liver produces to save your life. So it'll go and repair anything almost immediately. And the thing that releases them is to be submerged in cold water hmm. for at least 30 seconds. And yeah, so right. then you do it for three minutes. It's dumping all of these proteins into your body, which are really good for you that your liver can create an unlimited supply of on demand. Mm -hmm. I'm not a scientist guy. Like this guy was talking about it. He the unpacked it stuff, way yeah. better than I can. But uh -huh. he said, and then when you get out, those proteins are pumping through your blood and they're just going through and repairing broken tissue, inflammation, all these different mm -hmm. kind of things. He's like, so you can literally heal so many things in your body just by jumping in an ice cold tub for like three minutes a day. Yeah. And it's like, man, and even though 
you know that benefit. It's like some people are still never going to do it just because it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's just like dieting or exercise. We know it's good for us, yeah. but it's uncomfortable. So we won't do it. And I think about, you know, something that we, we created a resource for entrepreneurs. You can get it at oakiq.com forward slash resources. It's called mm -hmm. 90 Seconds to Freedom, the Entrepreneur's Ultimate Freedom Formula. And we mm -hmm. kind of put together a formula with a quiz and all that kind of stuff that basically helps you know what are the next steps that you need to take in three significant areas of your life related to your business in order to achieve ultimate freedom, mm -hmm. right? And each of those steps, however your, you know, your little questionnaire scores, each of those steps are going to be things that are a little uncomfortable, like a three-minute cold plunge, mm -hmm. right? But the truth of the matter is, is that unless you're willing to do some of those uncomfortable things, mm -hmm you won't get the result that you want, right? It's like the, the classic Einstein statement, you know, Einstein quote, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again, thinking you'll get a different result, right. right? The way you're doing it right now has not gotten you to the point where you would call yourself financially free and free in time. Mm -hmm. Then doing the same things you've been doing mm -hmm. is not going to be what gets you there. <laughs> Just doing more of right. it is not going to be what gets you there. You got to kind of adjust your strategy. So we put together this resource. And I'll just tell you a little bit about what's in it. So mm -hmm. I believe that the entrepreneur's ultimate freedom formula is, a, is an equation that has three parts to it. One is a hands-off business. Mm -hmm. And we've talked a little bit about that on this show, right? Building your business, learning different ways to build your business, implementing new systems, mm -hmm. hiring people, doing the things that are necessary so that your business can operate and run with or without you mm -hmm. so that you can be hands-off in your business. It doesn't mean you have to be. Mm -hmm. You can still show up every day mm -hmm. and that's fine. But having the, if you want to achieve ultimate freedom, mm -hmm. even if you want to stay in your business, your business needs to be operating in a way that it doesn't require you or else yeah. you're going to be chained to it at some level. Mm -hmm. There's going to be situations that arise that you are you, like, no one else is going to have the answer for, but you, mm -hmm. unless you've built the right systems and empowered the right people and all of those things. And so the first variable is building a hands-off business. And mm -hmm. based on the quiz that you'll get at okiq.com forward slash resources, 90 seconds to freedom is the resource there that you'll want to access. Based on that, you know, we want to give you, based on where you currently are, the way you answer questions, we want to give you what are some suggested next steps to mm -hmm. get you toward that goal, yeah. right? To get you towards that goal of building a hands-off business. And the second variable is uninvolved income. And we sort of coined and created this sort of phrase, uninvolved income, because mm -hmm. we talk a lot about passive income, mm -hmm. but we don't just want passive income. We want uninvolved income, which mm -hmm. means it's income that is fully passive and unrelated to my business. Mm -hmm. It's true diversification. It's true scalable diversification because if unrelated I can... to your skill set, unrelated to mm -hmm. your time commitment, unrelated to how many hours you put in. You are not involved. And even a different industry, potentially. Right. Exactly. You need to build an uninvolved passive income stream, multiple uninvolved passive income streams. Mm -hmm. That way, regardless of what happens with your business, while you're building the hands-off business, that's one key component. But regardless of what happens, you're also building an mm -hmm. unrelated secondary stream of passive income flow mm -hmm. that you know, hopefully eventually becomes greater than the income you're producing for your business. Mm -hmm. And then that plus your business, your active income, plus your uninvolved income, mm -hmm. plus the last variable, which is long-term gains. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're the, the first two pieces of the formula shore up today in mm -hmm. the next two to three to five years, the long-term gains are what gets you the legacy that you want to build for your family, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's ensuring that your uninvolved income is at least in part attached mm -hmm. to something that is mm -hmm. appreciating in value and producing a long-term gain mm -hmm. while it is paying you income. So yeah. uh, real estate's a great way to do that. There's certain businesses that you can invest in. There's certain stocks that you can invest in that pay dividends. But uh, I think real estate's w one of the ones that, that, that people can access and build the it's fastest. It's our favorite. It's our favorite. <laughs> it's what we do. We do real estate and we can tell you all the reasons why. But at the end of the day, the goal is not for you to just do real estate. Yeah, it's not the vehicle that, that you're using to get to that goal. Right. It's plugging in the variables within the formula of mm -hmm. building a hands-off business, getting uninvolved income, and 
that uninvolved income coming from sources that produce also long-term gains mm -hmm. so that that uninvolved income is not being chipped away at, but it's actually growing mm -hmm. because the asset that it's coming from is growing. Yeah. And so if you want to take that quiz, if you want to kind of see in about 90 seconds, we call it 90 seconds to freedom, just because it, it'll take you about 90 seconds to answer the questions and get your results, then go ahead to oakiq.com forward slash resources. We're not trying to sell you anything. Just thought that would add value to you guys, our listeners. Mm -hmm. And so just wanted to talk about that a little bit today. And yeah, yeah, that's the, a big purpose of this podcast, I think, is just to to add value and to, you know, and we'll, we'll share a lot of other resources from other people too. Like a lot of our guests that we have on here, will have their own resources and different things. If we think there'll be a value to you guys, we'll definitely share all those. But I think a big part of it is just being inspired. And, and even, you know, as, as entrepreneurs, it's so easy to just be really just kind of focused on what you can do. Yeah. You know, because like as an entrepreneur, it's like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. But like you're saying to kind of, to kind of separate, you know, it's wise to separate out. And we talked about this on another episode about kind of trying to separate out, you know, still do that. Yeah. And like most entrepreneurs we've talked to, they don't want to stop doing. Mm -hmm. They still want to do. Yeah. But they also, you know, would like to diversify to where they don't have to do. They're doing because they choose to do. Yeah. And exactly. they're doing what they want to do. Yeah. And no one's forcing them to do it. And but they freedom. like doing it because they're, they're doers. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But doers do. Doers do, and they get fulfillment <laughs> from doing. Yeah, exactly. Builders build, right? Right, um, exactly. And so, but they build the things they want to build. Yeah. When they want to build them, how they want to build them, yeah. however long they want to build them, however big they want to build them. Yeah. You know, because they're able to to diversify mm -hmm. and, and create those, you know, those excess to freedom. Absolutely. So. so thank you guys for tuning in for today's episode of Own the Exit. Hope it added value to you. You know, if, if you're enjoying this journey, being a part of the Own the Exit community, then would you do me a favor? Go ahead and subscribe. Leave us a review, man. That helps us so much to be able to reach mm. more people like you. And then, yeah, go ahead and share with somebody else. Tell somebody else about the podcast. Shoot them this episode if it meant something to you. You know, you can just copy the link in whatever platform you're listening to and, and, and send it out to your to your friends. It'd mean a lot to us. And mm -hmm. Again, if you want to get that resource I mentioned, it's oakiq.com forward slash resources. But in the meantime, just want to say thank you again for listening to this episode of On the Exit. Thanks, guys. Until next time, see you then.